let's talk about area just a little. Say we have a polar curve, R equals F of theta. And a theta is defined on some closed interval. This inequality, theta is between alpha and beta, gives you a cone like that. And R equals F of theta gives you some kind of curve. And we are going to find the area of this region. Our formula is that A is the integral from alpha to beta of one half the radius squared d theta. Probably the most commonly used application of this formula is not to find areas of regions that look like this, but rather to find areas. of a closed regions like this. And the way you can use this formula to find an area of a closed region, well, when theta equals zero, you're here. And as theta increases, you go about to the curve. And when theta reaches a two pi, you wind up back where you started. So to find the area of a region like this, you'd let alpha be zero, beta, be a two a pi. Let's look at an example. R equals two times one plus the cosine of theta. The shape that this equation gives us is called a Cardoid because it looks like a heart. Let's find the area of this region. Here is the general formula. If we plug this in for R, and we remember our trick that for the area of an enclosed region, we go from zero to two pi. Here's the integral we get. 
And now it's just a matter of whether or not we can evaluate to this thing. Two squared is four times one half. That will give us, say, a two, one plus the cosine squared is one plus two times the cosine of theta plus the cosine squared of theta. So one, no problem. The cosine, no problem. The cosine is squared. We never really spent a lot of time on even powers. But the trick here is that the cosine squared is one plus the cosine of two theta all divided by two. Now, we multiply this two through You get the integral from zero to two pi, two plus four times the cosine of theta plus one plus the cosine of two theta d theta. So this two and this one give us three. The antiderivative of three is three theta. The antiderivative of the cosine is the sine. Here, we'll have one half the sine of two theta evaluated from zero to two pi. And when we stick two pi in, this becomes six pi. The sine of two pi and the sine of four pi are both zero. So this is the only non-zero term. Stick zero in, we get zero, zero, zero. So the area of this figure is six pi.